Hello everyone, I am Jyoti Gaikwad, your English mentor. I welcome you all to the upper online classes of Upper Public School, Kalburi. So today I am here with the third, I am teaching you all English, however you know that, English subject, in that we are going for the second chapter. So what is the name of the second chapter? So what's the name of the second chapter? It is the Emperor's New Clothes. So, lesson number two, the emperor's new clothes. So, before I start the lesson, I would like to tell you all. See, whatever you see, you, whatever you look at, uh, look at, whatever you see, instead of believing all others, whatever you look, whatever you feel it is right, you should always tell about that. What is right, you should always be, your opinion should be always the right one. What you feel, what is right, what you see, always. That is taught in this story. Always believe in yourself. What is said here is believe in yourself and always be with your own moral values, what you have. And always you should have a good moral values. That is what is taught in this little story. Though it's a quite old story or it's a, this, um, what they say, this incident has been happened like long, long ago, but still it's a nice one where you can learn some good moral value. So now, uh, like coming to the point, now who has written this story? Now the name of the person is Hans Christian Anderson. So he is Hans Christian Anderson. So you can uh, see him. So Hans Christian Anderson is popularly called as Hetsi Anderson. He was a Danish author, although a prolific writer of plays, novels, poems, poems. He is best remembered for his fairy tales. Born on 8th April 1805 in Denmark, died on 4th August 1875. His other uh, short stories are like the Ugly Duckling, and one more is the uh, fir tree. And uh, there are many more, you, just, you can just Google it. Yes? Now, uh, shall I go, I'll last time. I, I want uh, you, I will uh, request all you all to open the English textbook. So, open the English textbook, page number, what's the page number? It is 23, page number 23. So, as you open the page number 23, then you will see over here, it is just number two, the emperor's new clothes. Then you, uh, in this unit, what you will be learning. The learning outcomes are there that I will be telling you all later on. We'll go for the warm up activity. What's the warm up activity over here? So, it is all about look at the picture. What is the man making? So, they are saying, see, they are saying, look at the picture. What the man is making? What this man is doing? So, so this little boy is just, he is giving his, he thought and when he sees that man, what he felt? He said that, I think the man is making some cloth for a coat. So he is doing, so he is making some cloth on a weaving machine for a coat or you can say a shirt or a trouser or anything as such. So, but in this lesson it is referred as coat, so I have given a written over here. So now next next comes next comes is B part B. Read these sentences and complete the labels in the picture with the correct words. So it is like this. The first one is done for you all. B word. Now the same way. Second one is loom. Third and fourth. I request you all to do it by yourself. Now turn to the page number. 24. So, as a page now, turn to the page number 24 over here. As put take your pencil and put your uh, put it on the uh, this thing. What does uh, sentence narrator over here? As I read, I want you all to follow the way I am reading. So, now before that, there are some characters over here. Characters given over here in the little box. Those. What are the characters? Characters. And I have given uh, the meanings of some uh, two characters over here. First one is a narrator, a person who narrates the story. Then emperor, 
a ruler of an empire that comes two weavers are there in their story and you can see a man you can uh, come across a minister officers people of on the streets and little child is there and little child's father this all will be coming across later these last two characters this all will be will be coming in the will coming uh, will be coming across in the first uh, half the first uh, part of the lesson so now as it goes take your pencil put it on the uh, the simulator that many years ago there was an emperor who spent a lot of money on his clothes he had a new coat for every hour of the day he spent his time riding through the streets so that everybody could see this his beautiful clothes one day two rogues two rogues came to the city so what happened he was there was an emperor who was bound of like you know, all new clothes so what he used to do daily every hour he used to change his clothes and he used to uh, uh, just move around in the city or move around on the streets so that people would see his clothes and admire him this way then one day two uh, rogues that is what are rogues rogues are someone who tries to trick people so these were these are the rogues so what happened uh, rogues uh, i met two rogues who were trying to uh, fool the little uh, child this is what you can uh, make it as a, a sentences or that way then comes what uh, the, uh, they pretended to be weavers so they pretended to be weavers now what do you mean by pretend pretend again is to make others believe someone that is not true because these you will come across what these rogues were and what they were pretending to be as and how it went how the story moves forward now weavers we know how to weave the most wonderful clothes of the world now these rogues came in front of the emperor and came uh, uh, met the emperor and said that they were weavers and they were so they were uh, what they say the we know how to weave the most wonderful cloth in the world the patterns and the colors are very beautiful so they said the patterns and the colors are very beautiful what we do narrator but they said that the cloth could not be seen by anyone now one trick what they did they trick the see now they trick the who emperor see you can you can see here an emperor these are the two raw rogues and they what they did they tricked the emperor this is the king on the uh, what is the emperor on the horse so what they did what they tricked him they said you can uh, you cannot see the cross what we we now that's again a thing a big thing now what happens you see narrator but the patterns are clear the patterns and colors but still they say the patterns and colors are very beautiful but you can't see them the narrator but they said the cloth could not okay this one is done emperor i must have some clothes made from this cloth so emperor reads really now tempted to get the clothes done by them done by them what clothes they are doing and how beautiful it might be how beautiful and how uh, royal i might look at that uh, beautiful patterns and clothes they thought who the emperor thought about uh, that way and he said fine i uh, i would like to get the clothes done from you from the weavers now what happens i shall find out with, and he he thinks that yes i shall find out when i when i i must have some clothes made from this cloth when i wear them i shall find out which men in my empire are not fit for their places so he want to test the iqs of the people on wearing the clothes which are not seen to anybody which can't be seen by anybody yes see i shall know the clever men from the fools those weavers must come and work for me so he made up in his mind that yes the weavers must come and work for me then so the weavers now again the narrator so the weavers came to the emperor's court so they came to the emperor's court and then uh, the weavers said yes your majesty what can we do for you so they said yes your majesty what can we do for you then he said emperor here take this sum of money 
he was very rich and he would give up uh, give some uh, what to some amount or some money but you must start the work immediately he says take this money but start the work immediately then again go to the page number 25 over here it's narrator now the rogues the rogues immediately put up two huge looms so these rogues or you can say the beavers these two what they did they put huge two huge looms and they pretended to start working so they pretended to start working they asked for the finest silks so they demanded for the finest they asked or you can see they requested for the finest uh, uh, silks and uh, brightest gold they were they asked for the looms which were very of, of good quality very good quality and uh, but they put these into their pockets so they put them into their pockets they worked day and night at empty looms so they they worked a day and night on the empty looms this were the weaving machines before like long ago these were this sort of these are the old ones now it has been improvised yes minister so what happens now i will send what he be thinks you know narrator the emperor decided now narrator says that the emperor uh, decided to send someone to find how the weavers were getting on so the money was given and they started the work who the weavers started the work now the emperor wanted to see how the work is getting done so now the emperor wanted to find out how the work is getting done on this weaving machine how whether they are doing the cloth whether they are preparing the cloth or whether they are making the cloth he wanted to who wanted to know? the emperor wanted to know so now again i will send emperor says i will send my faithful old minister to the weavers he is very clever man so what he says i'll send one of the old minister to the weavers he is a very clever man so this man was very clever very clever man so i will send that old um, uh, old man who will be who is very smart in recognizing all, all such things all clothes or material or what quality and all so and so what happens he is a very clever then narrator so the old minister went into the old minister went into the room when the two rogues sat working at the empty looms so the minister went to where went into the room where the two beavers were working on the empty looms so working uh, then what happens he stared and stared he stared and stared he was staring he was staring this way and this way he tried to find out what is going on really on that weaving machine over whether what they are doing with those looms which were they are taken already from the king so they were trying to find out what's happening then see and what staring is like uh, you see looking at something for a long time so i stared at the man uh, the strange man who is who was moving on the street so he, that man was quite strange so he was uh, his uh, behavior was quite strange so we were staring at him saying he just looking for a uh, for a while looking at one thing for a while for a long time for a bit of long time trying to find out exactly what's up what's there what's happening so what happens now minister thinking minister thinking i can't see anything so minister here you can see that he can't see anything on the well the speeding machine or there are no looms on the speeding machine yeah now but he did not narrator but he did not say anything but the narrator says again but this minister did not say anything to who to the weavers over there you see what happens now now weavers step for let it closer so the weavers came into the picture they stepped closer they and they said is this not a beautiful pattern and the colors are they not wonderful so he has see don't you find the colors are so beautiful and the pattern is so good and it, the cloth is so well done and it is so it is looking so beautiful and why don't you uh, then the, this is wonderful he says who the two weavers speak to or talk to each other then narrator again the narrator comes a poor minister but put on the spe his spectacles and bent toward the looms but he could not see anything because there was nothing to see so what happened he the minister 
bent around again he saw and uh, into the he saw near the looms to see what is really going on are there any is there any cloth but nothing he could see nothing over there the minister thinking again again he thought okay really what's happening am i uh, you should always believe in yourself that's what he says whether you always you should trust yourself that you are doing right you should if you are always try to do the right things then always you should believe in yourself that is what happened you see he did not this old man did not believe in himself here what happened you see because there was nothing to see usually uh, actually there was nothing to see there no we was well sir what do you think of it now again this we was asked what do you think about it sir now minister oh it is beautiful the clothes the colors are gorgeous and the pattern is very fine so he says okay the colors are very gorgeous the patterns are very good and it is wonderful the material is very good wonderful beautiful he says i shall tell the emperor that i am very pleased with your work so he says that maybe i am not able to look at the clothes whatever i can't see the clothes maybe that's a problem but they are really beautiful to whom he says to the rose or to the weavers who were there now now see weavers we are glad indeed to hear you say so so what are they say okay we are very glad that you say so and we are very happy who says this the two weavers now you see what happens again narrator soon everyone in the city was talking about the wonderful cloth that the two weavers were making soon all the news spread into the all the city that these two weavers were working on the looms which are really beautiful the gorgeous patterns are good and wonderful unique patterns they are doing the work very well this all spread now the emperor was very curious to know what is happening really because he hadn't been to that looms or head or weavers what they were doing and they hadn't been to that room now you see the wonderful class see so everyone in the city were uh, was talking about the wonderful cloth that the two weavers were making the emperor wanted to see the cloth too so with his minister he visited the two rogues who were weaving rapidly day and night without any threads see now what happens he accompanied a minister with himself and he went to the room where the weavers were working on the looms and he wanted to see what the weavers were doing where he will visit he wanted to visit the room where the weavers were working rapidly day and night without any threads into this looms so now it was really a thing so now i would like to uh, end up over here and the session and the video so now what happens next what does the minister say whether the emperor visits what over the emperor feels as soon as he goes there into the uh, room of where the looms have been uh, where the cloth was we were where the weavers were weaving the cloth what all happens how the story ends how this how the little child and the little child's fathers come into the picture what happens and how the ending will happening how the ending will end how the story ends how the how there will be a happy ending how all the uh, the sit all the people in the what you say city realize what was really happening actually happening this all we will be getting to know into the next video thank you children for listening happy reading all of you take care